how do we at least start to move? Because I know this has got to be an extremely complex topic. I mean, there's there's got to be boatloads of steps to doing to, to moving people into a relationship. Yes and no. <laughs> you know, I'm being yeah, a little. The, the, the other thing that's brilliant about what we just talked about, right, is, is, is that the really smart people on social are, are listening, and they're listening more than they're talking, and they're using search and filter functions, and what you can find with that is I can, not only can I find the hashtag that, that my people are using to connect with each other, I can, I can observe them talking about the problem that I solve, yeah. and if I'm smart, I can denote the language that they use to describe the problem that I solve, and then I can just begin to use it, right? And I and I and it, and it doesn't. It's it's an interesting thing. Even in hashtags, uh, there's a, there's this funny one that we use for Social Cloud Suite. I use the the hashtag growth hack. I I've never said growth hack. I don't know really what a growth hack is. But if you're in the if, if you're in the high tech startup hot rod hot shot internet you know world, uh, growth hack is cool, and you want to be a growth hacker. And when I use hashtag growth hack, guess what? I connect with lots of cool high tech you know internet startupy people that are interested in my in my company. And it's not my word, right? And it doesn't matter, right? And it, and it doesn't have to become my word. I just be, I just leverage their own language. To connect the problem that I solve with with that audience, and it's this is this is this is why the the playing field is so leveled by this, right? This is why I call it the people's media, and so when I can show up, and let me just run run you through that. So how do you connect them? You show up, and, you know, you show up as a cool dude, right? And again, most important, what others say about you, Mark, far more important than what you say about yourself, but. <clears throat> That's a bigger discussion. We need to pass through Google due diligence quickly. We need to pass through the circle follow quickly, and we need to bring them home, right? We need to bring them home. So I've got a WordPress W here, right? Most of us have a WordPress website. I'm calling that our home. That's our site, right? That's our place. So it's much like if I met you at a at a party event. You know, Chris, you seem kind of cool. You might, you might even be, you know, I got a bunch of guitars and stuff. I got a music studio in my house. You might think that's cool. That's, a, I'm gonna invite you over to my house for a barbecue, right? I'm gonna invite you to a second level engagement, right? Because you seem cool, and 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 if you think I'm cool and I think you're cool, then I'll invite you to my house. It's a second level engagement, and when I invite you to my house, then you get to see my guitars and stuff, right? You get to find out what I'm like. You get to find out about my hobbies my passions, my family, and my work, and, and my journey, right? You were talking earlier about journey. You get to find out it, all about the real me in real depth, and we, and we can build a relationship here. And this can happen in, in minutes, right? This isn't, this isn't even days. Like if I, if I invited you to a Sunday barbecue, that might be five days after the party, but this can happen in five minutes, right? In your minutes. Exactly. And what I have the opportunity when I get them to my home is to funnel them down and, and some of them are going to go away, right? At any point along this path, they're going to go away. That's cool. But the right ones are going to come through, and the right ones are going to come down. And if I don't whack them, right? So, so I invite you over to a Sunday barbecue. You come into the, you come into my house. You want, you want to see the cool guitars. You come into my house, and the dining room table is all set up, and all of the dining room tab table are samples of my new direct sales soap <laughs> company that I just. Sign up for, and the and the and the regional rep is here in his suit and tie, and he and he's ready to pitch, baby. Then 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 I, the jig is up, right? I I've, I'm a dinkweed. I just ruined the relationship. So yeah. don't do that when they come to your site either, right? Don't don't do the equivalent of that. Don't whack them over the head for for having check you know poked their nose into your home. Right? Give them some easy offers, some opportunities to connect, some some resources, like you know, maybe some referrals, some friends, some things that they could use. Uh, maybe offer them an assessment or a training or some. I mean, offer them something easy of value. Don't don't make them buy something. Don't make them opt in. Don't make them download some free thing. Right? Make give them something easy to do. Right? Give them a way to, to hold their hand up and say, you know what? You're cool. Your house looks pretty good. I want to be friends. I want to get you. let them let them walk through this path. And when you walk through this path, you have the opportunity here for connectedness. And in your connectedness, you may demonstrate your competence. You may demonstrate that you are real. 
you may demonstrate that you care, you may demonstrate that you understand the problem, and you may demonstrate that, through, that, you, that you have something of, of value to offer. And when I do that, there, there, some of these people will become to connected to the money bag, right? Some of them will become connected to the money bag. And that's what we all want in these business conversations. We all want, well, what, when you make the sale, Sean, come on, right? Well, some of them will come all the way through, and they'll, and they'll do some easy stuff, and they'll, and they'll track along, for, and they'll realize that we're both authentic and real and helpful, and, and we're competent. And this is why what we call it, you remember KLT? Remember Zig Ziglar, KLT, mm -hmm. No Like Trust? Yep. The new accelerated KLT today, Chris, connected, charismatic, and valuable competence. You must be authentically connected. You've got to be charismatic. You got to, you, you cannot be a logo, right, today. You won't work. And you must demonstrate real value. And, and you must give that real value uh, on, on trust. On, you got to bet on the come and give them real value on trust up front based on what you know and how you can help them solve the problem, right? And when you have that opportunity, and I'll, and I'll close with this, I'm an advisor to a company called Smink. Smink uh, works with uh, social word of mouth. And what, what, they, what they have proven is that uh, if you have actual fans, right, people that really like you and really use your products and services, and they're actual fans, and they're involved in Facebook, and, and we connect with them, and we, and we empower them, and we build this relationship. That Sphinx says that 25 empowered advocates can influence 1 million people on Facebook. 25 empowered advocates can influence 1 million people on Facebook. Uh, everybody's uh, complaining, I almost said a bad word, everybody's complaining about uh, you know, having to pay uh, to be seen on Facebook as a business. And it's real. Uh, 1 million impressions on Facebook will cost you about $3.3 .3 million in promoted posts. But 25 empowered advocates can deliver that kind of impressions for you and because it's coming from another person that they know, like, and trust, that impression is coming with an eight times multiple in effectiveness versus a promoted post. <coughs> I'm losing my voice. Sounds like a great return. Sounds like a great return on investment. And I, what I love about the the paradigm that you've shifted here, and I really think it's. I really think when. Um, when our viewers watch this, they'll really realize that this is a shift in paradigm. Because the old method was drive people to your website, make sure if they got there once, they were on some sort of list so that you could continue to market to them and continue to interact with them. Um, and that was the only way. And it almost came from a scarcity mentality. Like if they were, if they came here once, they would never come back again. Now, in your paradigm, which I think is is epic, it's the fact of continue to engage with them on um, on social networks. Continue to build that relationship, and then you know when they come to your home, you give them you know give them stuff. That's great. Maybe eventually they'll get on your list, but as long as you're continuing to interact with them in that party atmosphere of social media, they're not going to they're not going to forget you. Um, which is the which is the fear of old style. I'll say old style marketers. The fear was if we don't get them on our list right away, as soon as they get to our website, they're never going to come back because they're going to forget about us because there's so much noise. If you're giving good value, you know you're you're doing it the right way. You're not giving them a chance to quote unquote forget about you. I mean, is that kind of a fair thing to say? Mm -hmm. And and you have the ability to to be connected with them. It's it's a necessity to be connected with them, right? Yeah. Um, we're seeing. Uh, <clears throat> Sorry, I got a tickle in my throat. Um, we are seeing right now an example, uh, and I don't know when this will air, Chris, but we're seeing right now a, a celebrity personality that people think they know because they've been watching him on TV and social media, and people think they know him. And we've watched him step from businessman into political arena and clean everybody's oh, okay. freaking clock. <laughs> yeah. Right? 
Yeah, it'll be um, interesting. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what continues to what continues to happen with that. Now, come on, we can get some SEO. I don't know if I don't know if our viewers all will, will like Donald Trump, but that's okay. We can get some SEO out of that. <laughs> it's it's but but let's be who owns the Dallas Mavericks? Mark Cuban. Yeah. Who owns the Portland Trailblazers? Um, that one I don't know. How about the Denver Nuggets? Chicago Bulls? Orlando Magic? Atlanta Hawks? Don't know, don't care. No. Nope. You know Mark Cuban, though, don't you? <laughs> right? Hey, th this, there, there is power there. Yeah. Right? There was a moment on, <clears throat> there was a moment on Shark Tank, and uh, I love that show. There was a moment in the tank when all five sharks wanted the deal, right? And, and Cuban's sitting over on the right-hand side like he does, just letting him cook. And, and the four of them, and he's worth uh, a multiplication of anybody else on the panel. They're all highly successful. Mark's worth about 100 times more than the rest of them. He's just letting him cook. And he's a legitimate celebrity. He's letting him cook, and they are... Uh, and he's an authentic celebrity as himself, right? Yeah. In his T-shirts and the whole deal. I mean, the, he he puts pictures of himself and his kids on Instagram at, at Chuck E. Cheese, right? I mean, he's <laughs> real. And those guys are all doing. <clears throat> they're all beginning to talk and argue about their competence, right? And in all all of us do this as business people. We start to argue about their competence and and you know Damon says well I've got manufacturing and I've got this and and Lori says well I've got retail distribution and I've got this and and you know and Robert's got I've got all these IT solutions and I've got this they begin to talk about their competence and their specific experience in business Mark just let it go for a while let it cook he decided it was time he actually <clears throat> smacked the chair to get frame control grabbed the attention of the room right and sat up tall and he said, there's nobody that's not going to take my call. <laughs> right? Yep, exactly. There's nobody oh. not going to take my any, 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 any. You want any of these guys? I can get these guys. Any competence you want. I can get any one of them, all of them. I don't care. Right? You know, or we don't need them. Right? Because there's nobody that's not going to take my call. So when you're connected, charismatic, and valuable, which you may do yourself via the people's media on your terms and in your audience, right? You don't have to become Mark Cuban. You're probably not going to become Mark Cuban. Let's be real. But you can be well known amongst the community of people that are interested in the problem that you can solve. You can become well known as a valuable source of information and solutions and news about that, right? It's it's easy. <clears throat> we made this little tool, Chris, this little cloud suite thing. Yep. What it does is it goes, finds content to your context that you ask, and it posts it for you on a cadence which is appropriate for the network because different networks need different cadence, and it posts it in a different style for because the different cadence the networks are differently. But... It, there's two kinds of business people today. There's business people that are spending entirely too much freaking time on Facebook and they really need to work more. And there's people that are busy doing what it is that they're doing and they don't have time to be on Facebook. And they set up a page like 18 months ago and they posted a few things for a few weeks and when you go to their page it looks like they're out of business. Right? So and that's bad. Right? Because Because when you talk about SEO, there's SEO, big time, right? So, mm -hmm. so when I do my Google due diligence, when I put in Chris Sprague, the first thing that's going to come up is your Facebook and your LinkedIn, right? This is SEO powerhouse, right? right. So when I Google your business, I'm going to get your fan page before I'm going to get your website. Right. I don't care what you spend on, on SEO. And when I do that, and it looks like you went out of business 18 months ago, we're all done, right? My Google due diligence ends. <clears throat> so... This was designed for self-employed people, professionals, practitioners, you know, what have you, people like you and me, to, to have this thing uh, go out and find, we, we, we tap right into the, 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 the uh, data pipe from Microsoft, and it finds news and content and commentary on your context, posts it on the network, 
hashtags it for you, and does it in an appropriate uh, cadence for the network. And it does it all the time, right? Every day, Sunday afternoon, when you want to be watching the Lions lose, and, and it's, doing this for you, it's doing this for you. You don't have to worry about it. And and it's it's just a fantastic freaking thing. It was designed uh, for a specific uh, brand. Uh, it was designed for the largest PR firm in the world. Uh, I'm an advisor to that process, and uh, I, I I got it tweaked for me because I was an advisor, so they made me one, and they they tweaked it <clears throat> exactly the way I wanted it for a self-employed person, and they made it do exactly what I wanted it to do. I got to work with them for several weeks. And it worked so freaking well that I, I, I bought the thing. Right? I bought the thing and I turned it into a product and, it, and we put it inside of our company and launched it as socialcloudsuite.com. And it's, and it's, it's grand to $7.77 a, a month, okay? So it's two Starbucks a month. And it just takes care of this content thing for you so you can do what you're doing, right? And, and, that's, and that's, that's all that it does. That's exactly what it, that's, that's the whole point. And it does it really, really well. Yeah, and it's and it's epic. And I'll tell you, for our viewers at home, I've got the website up on the screen, uh, socialcloudsuite.com. You definitely want to head over there today um, and sign up for sign up for the, sign up for the service. Take advantage of this. Uh, take advantage of this epic service that that Sean has built out for you, um, because you should be doing what you do best, which is working. Um, in your business, whether it's a coach, an author, you know, if you're an author, you should be writing. If you're a coach, you should be coaching people. If you're a speaker, get on a video camera and 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 speak to people. You shouldn't have to be worried about where to get all this dang social media content, where to get all this stuff that you really need to post to be relevant to people every day. And where do you, where can you get the relevant things to post? Because the worst part, you know, is posting, like you said, Sean, posting irrelevant things to your masses, um, and then they're just gonna then they're just gonna go they're gonna go away. You know, or the worst part is, is that, you know, you can't find something, so you actually go grab a link, and it turns out to be somebody has a completely opposite viewpoint of you, and all of a sudden you've alienated all your, you know, all your, you know, your good clients because, hey, you know, you were, you were in a rush. So don't make that mistake. Don't make the mistake that, that I and, you know, thousands of other people have made, which is grabbing content and going, oops. You know, go invest in social cloud suite. Go over, take a look at it. You know, you you spent an hour now with Sean. You know he's an epic guy. He's got a great hero's journey. If you're just tuning in right now, you've got to go back and watch the hero's journey. Watch about a guy who came from corporate America, you know, Caterpillar, went through, um, bought a, a fitness center, and then ended up, you know, being a consultant and a very successful one, and has his company as a piece of his consulting social media or socialcloudsuite.com, an epic social media um, interaction platform. Right? It's, I don't know what it's called, but that's what I think of it as. It's not necessarily you're interacting, but it fosters interaction because it grabs the stories, it puts the hashtags on, and it gets people to understand you and know you better, all without all the normal time, stress, frustration, and the problems that you normally have. So go over there, head over there today. As soon as you're done listening to me, watching this, go over there, head over there, make sure you sign up for it, take a look at it. You'll be glad you did. Sean, before I let you go and before I, I roll us on out of here, is there any final words you have for our audience today? Well, the, the, you know, the thing that, the, 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 so the secret uh, backside of that, right, is when you get this automation doing content for you, then you have a little time that you're accustomed to working on social media. So you can use that time to actually engage with people instead of trying to find content and worrying about how to post it and going over to this network and copying it and pasting it over there. Because that's happening for you, then you're, you're able to use that time to engage with people and build relationships and build community uh, with just a few minutes a day on social because all of the content flow is being managed for you. And that's really, really uh, fantastic. And that's where you <clears throat> can invite people, right? It's the equivalent of inviting people to the barbecue. When you engage with them personally, then you invite them to the barbecue. And when you invite them to the barbecue, sometimes they become clients, and that's why we do all this stuff, right? Exactly. Hey, Sean, thanks again for being an epic guest. Folks, head on over to socialcloudsuite.com. Sign up for Sean's service. Sign up for you know, the service today. 
and start getting back to doing what you're supposed to be doing, what you do best, which is interacting with people, building your business, and making your business and your life an epic success. Let Sean's software take care of all the all the grunt work of finding all those dang articles and hashtagging and doing all that stuff that just ends up taking up time and costs you time and money. Get back to doing what you're doing best. Let Social Cloud Suite take care of the rest. And until we meet again, make it an epic day. To watch the rest of this epic episode now, click on the link below the video. Do it now, you'll be glad you did. Are you still here? What are you waiting for? Watch the rest of this epic episode now by clicking on the link below the video.